back to my channel so today it is october 1 and it is the start of inktober now i was i wasn't gonna film an inktober uh video for day one but i decided to do it anyways because i couldn't help myself but anyways i'm gonna be talking about the art supplies that i'm using my plans for inktober and film day one of inktober which the prompt is ring so this is my sketchbook and uh, I'm going to be using this sketchbook for the whole of Inktober. It's nothing fancy actually, it is just a, an affordable brand of a hardcover sketchbook. And it's also signed by Casey Golden. <laughs> the paper is, you know, nothing special but it does feel alright and I'm hoping that the paper will hold up to the ink. Speaking of ink, these are all of my inking pens that I'm going to be using for this month of Inktober. We have some Copic multi-liners here, a 0 0.2, a 0 0.05, a 0 0.7, 0 0.3, a brush, and of course the 0 0.1. These are my Copic multi-liner uh, SPs, which means that they are refillable and the nibs are replaceable and I love these. These are my go-to uh, inking pens when I want to ink something with a fine liner. I also have all of the inking pens from the Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. These are also very great. These are the fine liner graphics in a brush, a 0 0.8, a 0 0.4 and also a 0 0.2. <laughs> um, as well as that, I also have this beautiful Tombow brush pen. I don't know what it is called, but I absolutely love it. I think it's a calligraphy pen, but the nib is amazing and it works really good. I also have this Tombow ABT brush pen, which has a bullet nib on one side and a big lovely brush on the other side, as well as my Copic Gas and Food pen, which is amazing because it is like an actual paintbrush with bristles in a pen. Now this funky thing here is my dip pen. This is actually a pen that you dip into ink. Speaking of ink, this is the ink that I'm actually going to be using to color in flat areas and uh, you know mix with water and get some little flat washes here and there and I have had this bottle of ink for a very long time I've actually I actually bought this close to the time that I started my channel and it is a really really good nice dark black ink I have used it quite a few times and it is a really good ink to use if you especially if you want to get like a really deep dark black color that you can't really get with markers this will do a very good job as well as all of these i'm also going to be using paint brushes to paint with this big ink these are all of the paint brushes that i'm going to be using well i probably won't use every single one but these are all the paint brushes that i actually own uh excluding the hog hair paint brushes which i didn't think would work with ink very well we have some very, very small little detailer brushes here, including this very funky angled brush, which I really like. These are going to be great for getting really tiny details and maybe line art if I feel like uh, actually doing line art with a paintbrush. These are pretty good. These are my synthetic hair brushes. I believe most of them are Taclon. I don't know what the other ones are, but I use these for watercolor and they're pretty good. These are my natural hair brushes. I believe these three here are probably your basic pony tail hair brush. And this lovely one here is actually a sable hair brush, which is really nice. I really like this. This is a rigor paintbrush. It is very good for doing nice, smooth, thin lines. And I love it so much. Now this is a water brush. You probably know what this is, but I was thinking this could be useful if I wanted to maybe fill this with like a what, like a really diluted wash ink. I feel like that would be really fun to try out. So I definitely want to give that a go. So these are all of the supplies that I'm using uh, for this month's Inktober and I'm very excited and I can't wait to get into it. 
Now, looking at my Inktober sketchbook here, I have done a few sketches in advance. I'm definitely going to be sketching in advance for this uh, Inktober year because I just don't have the time and I feel like it would help me a lot. <laughs> um, another thing is that I'm not going to be filming every Inktober sketch. I probably won't be filming most of them at all. Uh, this is mainly because I just don't have the time to film every single day for a whole month. But I will be doing a sort of Inktober sketchbook tour at the end, so I can't wait to hopefully have 31 completed drawings to show you guys. So let's just start off this one here. Now I have actually written all of the prompts on the pages here just to make it easier for me so I don't have to keep going back to the image of all of the prompts. And this one, which is the first one because it is officially the first day of Inktober here in Australia, is Ring. Now, as you can see, this is a clef key which is a Pokemon, if you're not aware. Um, I actually decided to do a bit of a theme where I would do every single day a Pokemon theme for Inktober. I just felt like that would be really fun. It would be an interesting way to uh, put, a, put a twist on it. Still doing the official prompts, but adding my own sort of flair over the top of that too. So let's get started on this little guy. I can't wait to give it a go and see what happens and see if I actually end up you know, completing Inktober. <laughs> now I'm gonna use this pen here because this is one of my favorite brush pens and I love it so much. And I'm excited to see how it works on this paper. Now, first off the bat, I'm gonna have to say I'm not very hopeful with this paper. I am starting to feel the paper sort of get a little bit soft with the wetness of this ink. Now, this is definitely not a paper that is made for ink, but to be completely honest, I kind of didn't have time to go find a watercolor sketchbook and I kind of didn't have the money to do it either. But that being said, I don't think you need heaps of amazing expensive art supplies to do Inktober. Actually, not last year because I didn't do it last year, but the year before that, I actually did it in a Moleskine, Moleskine, Moleskine? sketchbook and that was definitely not made for ink but I did have a lot of fun and I really like the way that turned out so yeah. Now I actually didn't participate in Inktober last year and that was mainly because I wanted to try out and do Hue Vember which is obviously right after Inktober and then stuff happened and I just wasn't able to do Hue Vember at all either. Um, I don't regret not doing Inktober though because to be completely honest I had a lot of stuff going on at that time of the year and yeah I just feel like too much stress would have added to that. But it was a nice break and to be completely honest I'm really excited about doing Inktober again this year because I have done it a few times. Um, not extremely successfully. A few times I've had to sort of catch up and uh, complete it you know a little bit late but to be completely honest I'm very happy that uh yeah I, I actually did those 31 drawings. <laughs> Inktober is really fun and I really like um the way everyone comes together and uh creates stuff and has a lot of fun so that's that's probably what I like best about Inktober. Now we have the line art portion of this done. I didn't do anything too fancy because I'm actually going to be going over the whole background with a dark ink to make this sort of stand out a little bit more. So now we're just going to take out my eraser and we're just going to get rid of that sketch so it's nice and clean. Now here is most of that done. Now I'm actually going to go in with a light sort of wash and I'm going to try it using this and seeing how it actually goes. I hope there's no actual paint on it. There's a little bit of paint but I'm just going to rinse that out and we will continue. Now I'm just going to try and get some of this ink into here without making too much of a mess. I've got some paper down here to protect my surface but yeah. Oh there we go. 
hope this ink is still good. It's like a few years old now. <laughs> there we go. That should be enough. I don't want it too dark. We'll just close this up and this is now an ink pen. Okay, I've watered this down now and it should be a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Not as intense. So let's go into this guy with this ink. Now, I don't know if this pen here is waterproof or not, but I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to still leave some parts of this white because I feel like it would add a nice contrast. Now, I'm pretty sure this dark sort of gray color will dry a little bit lighter, so I'm kind of hoping for that. <laughs> oh, I just added way too much there. Hopefully we can fix that. That should be okay. Now it is sort of spreading a little bit and I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but not to worry. This doesn't have to actually be perfect or anything. Um, my last Inktober was definitely not perfect, but I see it as a fun little way to sort of do some little fun little doodles every day. I think that'll be the good way to go about it for me anyways. <laughs> Whoa, that was way too much there. Good thing I have this tissue here, I can just sort of dab it. So now we have most of that done, I'm actually going to go in and color in his face, his eyes, nose and mouth with a black pen because I feel like that will help draw your eye to the character and yeah. Now that some of this is actually dry, I'm actually going to go in and add another layer of shadows, just add a bit of depth. Now just to protect the rest of the book, I'm just going to sit a piece of paper in here like that. And we are going to go over the background with a nice dark, a nice dark wash of ink. I'm going to try and not get it on my countertop here, which I seem to already be failing at. I have a little bit of water in here and I'm just going to thin out some ink. Make that nice and thick. Make it, well not too thick, but like nice and dark. And we are going to go in with probably this paintbrush and paint around the edges of the artwork. Look at that. That's nice and dark. I really hope this paper holds up well. I'm going to leave a little tiny gap just in case I see some spreading. But other than that, I'm going to try and color in the whole background a nice dark inky black. Now, I don't seem to be seeing too much of the ink spreading outside of where I'm painting it. So I'm very glad about that. I'm going to try and not do too like wet of a coat though because I'm not sure how this paper is going to hold up with very sort of wet washes. Maybe that's probably why I should hold off from using the big sort of wide paintbrushes. I feel like doing smaller sections at a time sort of keeps the paper not too saturated. Now if I was using something like watercolor paper I wouldn't be worrying about this but this is just because I'm using a sort of uh, I would say student grade visual diary. <laughs> Now that I've gone around a lot of this, I'm actually going to get a smaller paintbrush and I'm just going to go around the edges to sort of, you know, fix up little parts that I've missed. Now, because I'm actually not going to be filming every single part of my Inktober process, I'm actually going to still be posting them on uh, Twitter and Instagram for each day and hopefully I can keep up with it and yeah. So if you don't want to wait until the end of Inktober to see my full sketchbook tour, I will be posting them daily on Instagram and Twitter. So definitely go and follow me on there if you like. I have links in the description. So yeah, 
please let me know if you're actually going to be participating in Inktober because I am very excited to check out a lot of awesome artists who are also doing it. So yeah, let me know if you're doing it and I will sort of look you up and see if I can uh, have a look at your Inktober posts as well. Feel free to tag me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to. I don't know why you would though, I'm no one important, but if you want to tag me, go right ahead. So now that I've actually fixed up a lot of the parts that I've missed, I'm still going to go in and I'm going to go back with my uh, bigger paintbrush here and I'm going to do another layer of the backgrounds just so I can get it a nice really dark inky black. So I've actually added a little bit more ink to this just so I can have a little bit less of a water ratio and I'm hoping that'll give me a nice dark black color. You know, I wasn't actually going to be filming any of the Inktober prompts this year. I kind of just wanted to sort of like keep it in one video, but I couldn't help actually just filming at least one for you guys. I have a lot of fun filming my drawings and sometimes I feel a little bit guilty when I don't film my drawings, but I know that's silly, but I still wanted to film at least one for you guys. This layer is actually turning out much nicer. I'm actually really liking this. So here is the final results and I love it. I think it's very, very cute. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.